To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to loop. Let's begin by moving the playhead to the end of your clip. You can also just use these two buttons under the video preview to reposition the playhead at the end of your clip. Now make sure your clip is selected and use the Ctrl C keyboard shortcut to copy it. Then use the Ctrl V keyboard shortcut to paste a copy of your clip at the playhead's position. Continue pasting as many copies as you want to create a looping video. To make your loop look more seamless, drag one of your trailing clips over the end of the previous clip to add a cross dissolve transition between your clips. And I'm just going to drag the transition's edge to shorten its duration a bit. Now when I play this back, I have a nice looking loop with a transition. Okay, this looks good, but I'm going to use a different clip to show you how to create a loop that plays forwards and then backwards. Make sure your clip is selected and go over to Properties. Click the Reverse button. This quality is fine for me, so I'm just going to click OK. Once your video is finished rendering over in the Jobs panel, double click it to open up its preview. Drag it from the preview to the end of your first clip on the timeline. Alright, now when I play this back, my video plays in a loop. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.